and welcome to Van Life Goodies. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, we're a family of four who travel in our T5 VW camper van, sharing our adventures and tips and tricks of van life. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to be notified every time we upload a new video. Van life. Reality. <laughs> Time. A two week trip to Wales cut short after my mum fell ill. It's the ambulance, oh my goodness. Leaving Dave and Ruby to make the best of the holiday, we headed home to support my mum. With mum in hospital for a few months, I decided to take a weekend away in the van to get some much needed downtime. Join me as I check out Tissington Trail on my electric bike and end up leaving the campsite early in search of peace and quiet.
So those of you that watched, I think my last vlog or the one before will know that I um, had to go and um, help my mum because she ended up in the hospital um, and so uh, missed out on our holiday in Wales. So very kindly I booked this weekend away just in Buxton so not far from where we live in Manchester um, just for a weekend to kind of get a break and then my mum it turned out was going to be in hospital longer than planned so I had to cancel this and the gentleman was really helpful I'll put um, he switched the date to a couple of weeks after I'll put the link of this site and show you around in a little while it's very peaceful the road a little bit but it's really peaceful really beautiful and it's just what I needed for a bit of a reset um, sadly my mum is still in hospital there's lots of people visiting this weekend and Dave's holding the fort thank you Dave again and Dave does have weekends away you know he just doesn't film them might not be appropriate for family viewing <laughs> um, so I'm just having a bit of me time and a bit of quiet I'm gonna go for a bit of a cycle ride I'll show you where I am, and if you want a bit of peace and quiet and tranquility, come on my journey. And I'll keep you updated about them. Feels like I've been here a thousand years. Could you bring some light to me? Or just sit beside me and never leave? So this trail's brilliant because it's got toilets and cafes all along and it's flat. So if you've got kids, 
it's ideal really. The only problem is it's not a circular, it's kind of there and then back. So I'm watching my battery because I'm going to try and make it to Ashbourne, have a little break and then come back. So I'm trying to use a bit of energy. <laughs> It's beautiful, full of antique shops and little cafes. Um, worth a look around, but quite busy. I've had a little mooch around. And now I'm back on the trail because I was looking for a pub to have a glass of wine in the sun. And all the pubs were in the shade on the main road. Not really worth it. So I ended up at Sainsbury's buying a miniature bottle of wine. So I'm going back down the trail now try and find a nice viewpoint to enjoy my glass of wine. Ooh. My kind of pub. I'm at Hartington now. I think I've got about six miles to go. Oh, and I've got one left on my battery and my bum's absolutely killing. So I might end up walking. So I'm walking now because my bottom is very sore. <laughs> And I've just worked out that I reckon I've done about 30 miles, which even on an electric bike for me is good. So last push, I'm on my last stretch now, saving my little bit of battery for up that hill at the end. And then I can get back to the van and get something to eat. Ooh. On battery. Last hill. Oh, it's literally flashing. I don't know how long that gives me. <laughs> I'm nearly there. Without a shadow of a doubt, that is the longest cycle ride I have ever, and probably will ever do. <laughs> Still got a tiny, tiny flashing bit of battery. some tea on. Not quite as peaceful as last night. Um, 
We have some, I think, three vans. Some friends. So this is what I'm having for tea. So for tea, I've got rice, chilli, salad, probably overkill, a few dough balls as well. And then I'm just going to uh, watch a bit of YouTube. Okay, quick update. So I'm sat there eating my lunch and uh, it's a good job I only had half of a glass of that small bottle of wine because my neighbours, my lovely neighbours, all three of them, um, were playing loud music and swearing and they had four dogs barking so I decided I need peace and quiet tonight so nothing against them, you know, if you want to party that's your business but I really need peace and quiet. So I decided to move and I got out of the van and then all four dogs came across barking at me. So I asked them to grab their dogs. They grabbed two of them. And then I went out again to try and get my bike and the other dogs came across barking again. So I asked them, can you just grab them please and put them on a lead while I'm, cause I'm going in a minute. All right, sorry, they said. So anyway, they've done it. Um, and so I've left. So I've driven to somewhere a kind of part for night spot that I know is safe there's other van lifers here and um, other people in vans and I know I'm safe so it's kind of a bit of a spanner in the works because it was a very peaceful sight um, and I filled my water up before I left as well <laughs> um, but I can't do music all night um, because I just I've come away to have peace and quiet so that just would have done my head in. <laughs> so I'm going to relax now. I'm going to get a cup of tea because I am in a not on a campsite. So if I get asked to move, I need to be able to. And, um, and just make a few phone calls and just try and relax now. <laughs> anyway, that's the update. <laughs> Good morning. I've not filmed much this morning because all I've done is have a lie in, get up, have breakfast and wake up to this view if you can see it. Um, it's getting rather full with tourists now and I am just going to head home so I'm kind of cleaning up. I like to clean while I'm on holiday. Um, clean the van and just make sure it's right because it just feels much more relaxing than doing it when you get home. Um, I've got to go and see my mum later. I want to go and see my mum later and so there's not a lot to film today. It would have been nice to go for a walk or a cycle but my battery's not charged because I had to leave the campsite early and uh, I think I'm needed at home. Um, but I do feel just after one night or two nights, um, I do feel after two nights way more relaxed than when I came. So I feel eternally grateful for this car stroke camper van that offers me the opportunity to take a break. Until next time.